First day for everybody else, first day for me as well with a pink ball, different timings. So what, what was it like being at a pink ball test? First thing I must tell you, this could only have happened in Kolkata. The entire city is pink. I was coming in the day before the game and buildings have been lit up in, in pink. The chief minister comes there. The prime minister of, of Bangladesh comes there. It was a carnival. It was, it was almost as if it was a celebration and there was a bit of cricket. And that can happen only, only in Kolkata. 45, 50,000 people inside the stadium, tickets sold out. I can't remember the last time I went to a test match and there were people asking for tickets, saying, where can I get tickets from? And I didn't think I'd see that. It was wonderful to see this, this wonderful dish-shaped Eden Gardens actually fully packed. And oh, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a sight for sore eyes. Was it just a novelty? Will it happen again? I don't know. I think if you fix it in the calendar, then maybe people will start getting used to it and wait for it. Different kind of crowd as well. I got the feeling that some of the people there were the KKR kind of crowd. And I hope and I strongly believe this is what T20 cricket does. T20 cricket introduces you to the game, makes you fall in love with the game and then you start to see everything else. So I hope the little children, there were many of those who were coming in who had been expecting to see a KKR kind of cricket said, oh no, but there's something else happening here. How was it for a broadcaster? I'll tell you, at, at one point it grew very eerie for me because as the lights started to go, your first instinct when you're watching the game in white is, right, the light's too bad now. And then you said, no, the, all the lights are on, it's a bit hazy, but why are they playing in whites? Then you realize it is white ball cricket played at night. So it took us a little bit of time to get used to it as well. Look at the commentary roster, it's at 3 o'clock. Is it a lunch break? It's 5.40, is it a tea break? Okay, that, that's, that's a little easier to define. But with every ball, we were waiting to see if something is happening. With the very first ball, is there greater carry? Is the ball zipping off the deck? Is there too much grass on the surface? Will, will there be something in it for spin? Watching for dew like we were kids, is the dew coming on? Will the ball slip, slip off? Will it carry much more uh, a, a little later into the game? Will it start to uh, lose colour? We were all just watching. It, it was almost like you were in a lab and you're mixing the reagents together and you're thinking, right, now should the gas come out? Now should the discoloration happen? Now should there be a precipitate? We wanted something with every single ball. So it was, it was very exciting. Even at the end, when there was a presentation going on, we are asking Ishan if something else was happening. We are asking Ashwin if he wanted to bowl with it, asking Ajinkya Rahane if the ball was coming on quicker. So from that point of view, what it did was to heighten interest in a game that desperately needed interest being heightened in. So yeah, it was, it, it was a wonderful day. Where else but in Kolkata would you, at the end of a test match, go and say hello to Mary Com, PV Sindhu, Pulela Gopichand and Sanya Mirza? This infectious enthusiasm for the game can only come in Kolkata. Will it be uh, regular on the calendar? We'll have to wait and see how the pink ball goes, but it's definitely a good start.